Airbag one would work. All right. Next one, please. Next one. Scatter. Who started the pick? Chris. small one, right? On off switches on the front side of the machine over there too. Are those little bands the walls? This is, don't worry about it right now. Next one please. Oh um do not have hands uh, cross the blank of the saw position hands on either side of this line. Yeah. We're gonna call it the cut line. That's our imaginary line. Coming straight out from there, guys. So if I'm feeding a piece through, I don't want to feed it like that. I could have my hands on either side. That'd be pretty safe, right? Mm -hmm. Next one. Uh, that's Do the cut and curve cutters spin the blade on the machine and be able to handle blank cut blade cutter spin Relief cuts, I'm going to demonstrate those later. So relief cuts help you cut smaller curves, like the ones on here. But the uh, small bandsaw there is able to cut tighter curves. The small bandsaw is able to cut tighter curves. Next to screech. If it's not set up correctly or not operated correctly. Reason being. This blade is about twice as wide as that one. So you make a much skinnier cut over on that small one. Next one, please. Fix on Nathan. Oh, I definitely Hold stock firmly against the blank. Never have it unsupported and in the air. Table. Firmly against the table. Firmly against the table. Nathan. Hang on, Nathan. All right, physics lesson again. Let's say we had this guard adjusted improperly or just a little too much. And I decided to try and feed my piece in like that. Physics lesson again, guys. Which way is that blade spinning? Down. What's going to win, you or the machine? Gravity. The machine and gravity are definitely going to win. What's normally underneath those, that piece then? Fingers. Your fingers. It's not going to feel good. Trust me. Next one. Avoid blank of a cut. If this must be done, turn the machine off and wait for the blade to come to a complete stop. This is very important when operating the blank bandsaw. We're going to avoid backing out of a cut. And it is extremely important on the small bandsaw. Chances are, guys, you are not going to see a blade break in here. Um, if somebody operates that small bandsaw incorrectly, though, and starts backing out of curved cuts, they're going to pull it right off the wheels. And it's going to pop around in there. They're probably going to bend the blade. They're going to stare at themselves. Everybody's going to know they did something wrong. <laughs> Don't be that guy or girl. Mm -hmm. All right, next one, please. Uh, Chris. As a break. Primarily, what are we using this machine for? For our purposes in this class. Cutting. Uh, oh, what kind of cuts? Curved cuts. Curved cuts. Curved cuts. Primarily <laughs> curved cuts. A secondary operation or use that I'm going to use it for uh, tomorrow is going to be pre uh, preparing lathe pieces. Preparing lathe pieces.
Alright. So, before I start cutting, first, I need you guys over here where you can actually see. So what I've done ahead of time, so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me plot all this stuff out, figure out where to draw with the compass and all that. Um, I've marked out my curves here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do those relief cuts. They're going to be a little series of straight little cuts in and out. What those are going to do is when I start to cut the curve, it's going to start chipping away little pieces at a time. So I don't break the blade or pull it off the wheels. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Bunch of them in. And then I'm going to start by cutting in one way and then coming back and cleaning up the extra. What do I have to do before I uh, start doing any of that, though? Line it up. Line it up, yeah. Fix the guard. I have to adjust it. I have to adjust that guard. Three out of that. How close? Eight. One eighth. One eighth. I'm going to have this safety device. What's this called? Push stick. Push stick. Push stick. I'm going to have that nearby ready to use. You should cut like that on purpose, like the. Yes. It helps you. Uh, Keep a grip on it. Yep. I may not need it for these cuts because this piece is how long? Remember from uh, the miter saw? Nine, Nine inches. What's my margin of safety? Four. 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 So I got about, what, five inches of extra there? So I can conceivably keep my fingers well out of the uh, danger zone there. All right. So we'll turn the machine on. We make that series of small cuts almost to the line. Right there, that's what we call our relief cuts. As I start cutting that curve then, these are going to chip right out of the way. Yeah, they're falling off there, Keanu. Yeah. Keep my fingers nice and far out of that margin safe. So there we have one of our curves. Down here, same idea. Series cut straight in. Now, when I do this straight portion, I can spread them out a little more. So again, there we go. Cut in. We hit the stop button, then you can use the blade frame. Questions on the bandsaw? Yes? What happens if you use that one that's running? Same thing that's going to happen if you have your foot on the gas and your foot on the brake. Oh. Is it good for your brakes? <laughs> no, you're just going to rush your pads and warp your rotors. Same idea here. Alright, cool. Set over the food table, please. 